welcome to the Science Hutch. We're talking about average speed versus instantaneous speed. And so I'm driving my car right now from where I live in Palm Coast, Florida, down to Orlando, Florida to go to the Magic Kingdom. Well, if we look at my speedometer, your speedometer right down there, you can tell my instantaneous speed is right about 70 miles per hour. Now, if you look over at the trip thing, that's my odometer, and that's, talk, that's tracking my total distance traveled from my trip. And so right now, I've just traveled 65 miles, and I left about 4 p.m., and it's almost 5 p.m. right now. So I've done 65 miles in almost an hour. And so I've been going about 65 miles an hour as my average speed. But as you can tell, my instantaneous speed right now is about 70 miles an hour. So those two things can be different. So when you're getting your average speed, you're gonna take your total distance divided by your total time. And your instantaneous speed then just has to be tracked by exactly how quickly you're going at each moment in time. All right, hey, thanks a lot. Keep on physicsing.